Mulder gives Fox his perfect start with unbeaten 147. Leicestershire hosts Glamorgan at the Upton Steel County ground, the hosts marooned to the bottom of Division 2, the only side without a win, but their visitors have four of them and are just one point behind second place Middlesex as the pair chase knots at the top, two sides hunting victory for very different reasons. While the sun wasn't baking down with quite the same gusto as it had on Monday, Leicestershire won the toss and elected to bat, a solid start from Louis Kimber and Rishi Patel. But the partnership was broken on 43, Patel outcaught in the slips by Sam Northeast of the modelling of David Lloyd for 15. The arrival of Hill to the middle saw the run rate skyrocket. Suddenly the Foxes looked in charge of the innings, Glamorgan taken aback as the second wicket pair steamed past 50 and up into the 90s midway through the session. Kimber inched closer to his 50 with the single that brought up the 100, a good start from Leicestershire against their promotion chasing hosts. The Foxes opener brought up his half century off 68 balls with a huge six lifted over the offside to Salter, shortly after he and Hill had put on 50 for the second wicket. The pair were still together at lunch, Hill now closing in on his 50, with the score 128 for one. Glamorgan came out of lunch with intent and picked up the wicket of Louis Kimber, out caught behind for 68. Hogan had two in two, Ackerman another to nick through to Cook, a great start to the session from the visitors. Hill remained though, and with a single off Salter, he moved to his 50, scored off just 63 balls. His new partner Vian Mulder brought up the 150, the edge dropping just short of the slips and shooting away for four. And Glamorgan struggled for further opportunities, the pair put together a solid partnership, taking off 50 from 59 balls together as the Foxes headed for 200. Hill took them to the landmark total, bonus points for Leicestershire but he would depart with a score 214, out for 81 when he was caught behind off the bowling of Salter. Mulder responded, 50 up with the first boundary scored after the departure of his colleague, he'd taken 69 balls to reach the mark. Everson brought up the 250 for Leicestershire, but would fall to the next ball. Ingram's delivery a poor one, the full toss pulled straight to Nisa on the leg side boundary, T taken with the fall of the wickets. Mulder was now joined by Swindles and the pair quickly pushed the score on, Glamorgan getting a bit stuck with the sixth wicket pair. Mulder had already taken them to 300 when he skewered Salter for a one bounce four, a lovely shot to take him to 100, scored of 117 balls. He was in quite some form, building on his huge knock last time out and putting Glamorgan to the sword. Swindles too was batting well, taking the value of the stands to 100 and the score passed 350 when he whipped Nisa through the offside for four. Swindles moved to 50 with two off Harris, up to the mark off 87 balls with just a few overs left. It was almost the perfect day for his side. When they wandered off at the close, the score was 387 for five, and the first day had been all about the Foxes. The hosts set the tone for the match with a really strong effort with the bat, led by Vian Mulder, who finished unbeaten on 147. He'll look to move to 150 at the start of day two, and the Foxes will be confident of building on their strong position with the chance to put a match-winning total on the board in just the first innings.